I'm Heather Inkterman for Area TV. If you're a professional editor working on the Mac, there's been lots of technology breakthroughs that you're probably pretty excited about. Well, here at IBC, you can get your hands on the latest gear and find out how it's changing the way people are finishing their content on Smoke. One of the great things about Smoke being on the Mac is it gives editors lots of options to set up their finishing workflow. We talked to Avid, AJA and Promise about some of their latest technology and how you can pair it with Smoke. Angus Mackay at Avid talked to us about the Artist Series panel and the Smoke and Media Composer workflow using DNX HD. The Avid Artist Series panels are great external control surfaces that allow users to get better interoperability with their creative tool by having the controls all built into one surface. You don't have to take your hands off the surface to get the work done. You can do that great color correction, have the transport built right into the color correction panel so you get a lot of extra functionality out of it. And advanced users will really appreciate having a dedicated control surface. I think a real benefit for many of our mutual customers is the DNX support, which is in uh, Smoke. And this is great because, you know, for example, AJ announced their Key Pro Mini with DNX HD support. So you now have a great system that allows you to acquire DNX, do your editorial with Media Composer, finish there if you want, or if you want more advanced visual effects and capabilities that Smoke offers, have DNX material accessible to Smoke, use AAF to move all of your metadata, and you have a very nice uh, pipeline for moving material from acquisition to finishing. With our mutual partners, Avid, uh, like yourselves, we're working with them on the DNX front. Uh, and so with DNX HD, one of the announcements we made here at uh, IBC 2011 is that in a future upgrade uh, version of firmware for the Key Pro Mini, we will be offering uh, DNX HD capture natively. Uh, and what's important about this implementation is it will be the only hardware implementation in the business. Uh, and then I think perhaps one of the uh, most anticipated announcements is the new IOXT. So this is our AJA's first implementation of a Thunderbolt device. Perhaps one of the most important things is two Thunderbolt ports. The competition out there at this point generally will have just one Thunderbolt port, which would turn this into what you call an endpoint, which is a real problem because you need to be able to daisy chain him. So one of our other mutual partners here at the show is we're showing this on the stand with Promise. And so you would literally be taking one of your Thunderbolt ports from your MacBook Pro, you'd be running another one to your drive and on from there to the monitor. So you can go into your display port. And so you've got full kind of 3G type power uh, in this little box. This is a full blown professional device. We know that editors and finishing artists need to have flexible options when it comes to their work. For example, using Thunderbolt provides high-speed storage that can be used with a Mac laptop or iMac, which is perfect for taking smoke on set. Venkat Ramakrishnan from Promise talks about using the Pegasus RAID with smoke. So Pegasus is world's first hardware RAID storage with Thunderbolt connectivity. So Pegasus gives up to 800 megabytes per second performance, and it's almost 20 times faster than Fireware and you know, 12 times faster than USB. It gives hardware RAID capability for any Thunderbolt-enabled host system to be able to do all the color correction, all the creative finishing tasks that they do with Smoke. Um, they need a perfect companion that delivers them that much higher speeds and the lower, lower latencies. And that's why Pegasus is a great companion for Smoke users, either on set or back in the studio. Here at Autodesk, we're really excited to see all the different ways people are integrating smoke into their workflow. There's no better place to try smoke than in Amsterdam, but if you're not here, you can download the free trial at autodesk.com slash smoke for Mac. Thanks for watching IBC 2011 on Area TV.